Hello there, my name is FIFA Fella and I have missed doing this so much. My um laptop, the one I was saying was probably gonna break, broke unsurprisingly. I don't actually know what to speak on this is. So it says I'm talking a lot quieter than I actually am. So I'm gonna quickly check how loud it is now, so yep, yeah, the sound is fine, it may not say I'm talking loud, but I just checked and I am talking fine. As you see here, this is Football Manager 2012, and I'll be doing a Let's Play series for this. At the moment, I have only got the demo, so I can only play up to the game date of the 1st of January, but I can continue with the save when the full game comes out. I've decided to be Crawley Town, known as the Red Devils. They are one of the rich clubs in Division 2, uh, League 2, which I decided to start in, as I thought it would be more fun if I started at the bottom and worked my way up. Um... I'm not doing this commentary live, I've already recorded this using Microsoft Screen Encoder, but I will be doing some live commentaries later down the line. Um, as you can see here, looking at the team, Pablo Mills is my captain, but he is out for three months. And the monster that is Claude Davis is my vice captain. He's an absolute tank of a player. Here I'm just looking at my team, and I'm playing a 4 2 2 2 formation. With such stars as Pablo Cunyago and Matt Tubbs up top, who have been scoring brilliantly. Um, you see, there's Michael Cupers, my keeper, but I decided not to go for any players, only important ones. So, Claude Davis, my absolute monster of a vice captain, captain at the moment, why Mills is injured, and he's been fantastic so far. Um, his, did I click on him? Yep, Robbie Williams got him on a free transfer from Plymouth, who are oh, screwed really in real life, let's be honest. And he's an absolute beast. I got Kyle Epicillo, but I don't know how to say his name, and Daniel Johnson on free uh, on loan, and John Paul Pittman, who has been dreadful so far. And up front, I've got the mighty Matt Tubbs, who's the only Crawley player most people know, and Pablo Cunyago, who used to play for such great clubs as Crystal Palace and Ipswich. If only I could ever play for them, and not Barcelona. <coughs> um. I do like this year's game, but as you can see, that it seems like they try to cram as much information into one page as possible, which annoys me quite a bit. I play with two advanced forwards up front, a box-to-box -box midfielder, and a deep line playmaker in centre mid and two wingers on the wings, obviously. But I do like the tactic screen and the subs at the side. It does look a lot nicer. But in a lot of places, you think they could have made it not simpler, but just less compressed. Ooh, that nearly wound, aren't I good? Uh, as you see, I can't really tell. There was my backup tactic, 4-2-3-1, which I used on my Southampton one, which didn't go well. I um, drew my first game and then lost my other one, and I thought I'd do a Let's Players calling. Here I'm going through the friendlies. I made a lot of big friendlies against clubs like Tottenham to bring in high money from fans. I went out in the League Cup preliminary round, the one before the first round, which is dreadful to Wimbledon which is just embarrassing let's be honest um, and I decided to show the goals of this game against Port de Vale who are uh, it was my first game of the season and I threw away the lead a bit it's quite annoying that you can see I'll cut that bit out I'll cut out the bit where you can see the score so I'll need to end this video oh, I should have done that beforehand oh well anyway it was quite a good game a little got actually no it was set at the top so there's no point don't worry Good way I'm speaking jibber jabber. I am in quite a rush to upload this because the time now is 7.52. It's just gone 7.52 and I need to leave this house by 8 o'clock as I do have school. So I will be uploading this after school. I'm going to, I think I've already said, practice doing a bit of live commentary. So I'll be playing the game with Windows. I had to just mute the volume there. Oh, it looks a bit laggy. Hopefully it's not actually like that. But, um... A few live commentaries where I use encoder to record the game, obviously live, along with what's it called, along with the sound as well. You see, Tom Thompson plays a nice ball to Tubbs, who knocks it out wide. Back to Thompson, lovely football. And then he hits an absolute thunderbolt for about 25 yards. Maybe the keeper could have done better, but I'd rather just say it was a beauty. Um, I will be letting this render while I'm at school, because I do want it to be HD, because my beautiful fans deserve the best if you are still active as a sub or you've subbed and i'm going to stay active 
can you please like the video just so I know how many viewers and like active followers I'm actually gonna have this for this series um and see some nice football here leads it into Tubbs who hits it at the keeper can you go fluff the rebound but scores his rebound of the rebound if that makes any sense whatsoever <coughs> I've got a bit of a bad throat this morning which is great um, so we go two up and Kanyago and Top so far have been working really, really well as a team but um, I was in a bit of a rush to get the whole video up as a whole so the final score is you can probably tell is for real but I don't show the last two of Port Vale's goal because why would you want to see me concede it would just upset you but then they score a really nice goal down here they go down the wing cross it into the back post and it's headed in oh, actually no I don't do that so I just fast forward to the next few goals so it's 2 1, that was one of the best goals in the game, I'd say. And I think it's now, now or never, never say never. Sorry, Justin Bieber. You've got to love the Justin Biebs. Everyone who says they hate him is just, yeah. <coughs> so I have a bit of a call. As you see here, I've been using, when I want to hold a lead, so not go stupidly attacking, but grab a few goals, I always put on counter attack and clear it to the flanks. Sergio Torres to Den and Kanyago, sweaty tramp, what a beast, to Tobbs. And he makes it 3 1, which is great, and that's what I mean about them working together well. I was trying to see how long I've been recording for here, but I couldn't. I won't do that next time. The actual recording is about 9 minutes, I think, or something stupid like that, which is actually really good. Um, as you see, I'm fast forwarding it here. And here, Port Vale make it 3 2. And I think that's Pope, I can't really see the name. It looks really bad from here on that tiny screen. Makes it 3 2. And then, to be fair, this was probably one of the best goals I've seen so far. It's just really good passing move by all of them. They just took our, our defences to pieces. Big Claude Davis couldn't do anything about that. And that made it 3 1. Yep, 3 1. Um, and then the, and then, so no three all I mean. So in our first game we drew at home to Port Vale and we got a win away at Morecambe. I like Morecambe's kicks. I think the bench looks really cool. I was actually going to be Morecambe, but I decided against it. As you can see, we're just generating the match report. But hopefully I won't need to do that next time. I don't know why I'm saying it, but um, yeah, I'm only showing Matt Tubbs' last goal because their goal was an open net, a keeper mistake. And Claude Davis was just a magnificent back post header. What is it? 7.55, I've got five minutes, guys. Jeez Louise. And anyway, I don't know why I just did that. Anyway, it was Kanyago with some great work down the wing. Twisting and turning. And then he FIFA goals it to... Oh, I don't even know. Yeah, it's a FIFA goal. A cut back. Cut back like a beast to Tubsy. Uh, so, <coughs> so far in the league, we have four points and our... And I'm um, joint second. And I don't know how you say that actually. Joint second. Two points off Swindon, who have got the Canny as a manager. And here are our transfers so far. Brought in Dean Boosness, a former Liverpool keeper on a three. Uh, Kanyago and I think that was Williams Woodison. And there's Daniel Johnson who scored that wonder goal. And Ebisilio, my new two centre mids. Brought in Michael Wezu, who was amazing on that football manager 06, but never lived up to potential. Got him on a free. And Tony Silver on loan. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the first episode this season of the Let's Play. I know it may 